really addictive. Even when I get really tired, I don't want to stop. It is visual. Everybody's going simultaneously. Here at Ursha, I Dance 2 being released, and uh, so far I really like the game. Reception's been great. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of interest in it from uh, people that own you know gyms, fitness clubs, etc. And it's also nice to see that some of the hardcore players came out to check it out as well. They said that we're putting the fun back in dance games, which is really nice to see. The launch has been great. Uh, it's definitely a huge improvement over uh, version one. The target region idea that we've completely redesigned, and, and now it's really easy for people to understand with their accuracy. Uh, not, they're, they're not only hitting arrows, but they're able to see, you know, am I early, am I late? A lot of the new step charts are fun, uh, lots of twists and turns and spins, and the interface is really refined, and I really like the teacher tools with like the rewind, fast forward, pause. I played both versions, but the one thing I noticed the most is there's a lot of variety in two, music-wise. We've licensed new tracks, we're up to 138 right now. We've already got a waiting list of 10 new tracks. We've had pretty big crowds. I mean, I'd say we've even had up to 20, 30 people surrounding it at one time. Uh, we've had a lot of people come play it with us. It's really fun. <laughs> I thought I was going to be bad at it, but it goes with the music, so it's actually really cool. I like to get really competitive and stuff like that, so I think that's really cool if you have a bunch of people in a group. It's kind of an interesting mesh. You have people that are very experienced with the game, and people have no clue what they're doing, but they're all having fun. So whenever you see an up, just step up. Whenever you see a right, just step on the right. Yes. Okay. You're, you're on the far left. So here comes the left arrow, and you're going to wait till it gets to the top. And left. I was just watching for the first couple times, and I was definitely intimidated. <laughs> but I definitely was so curious I had to give it a try. And I really like the neuromuscular input and to be, to, for the adaptation. It's really nice to see so many people coming by and enjoying the booth. And with everyone else having such a good time, a lot of people want to be a part of it. And it's really easy just to step on any pad, join at any time. It gets you fired up to dance. Awesome. You get kind of hooked on it. So. The people that are skeptical are my favorite because a lot of them, when they come up, have so much fun, they don't even want to leave. They just want to keep playing over and over. The game is meant for anybody from beginner to, you know, advanced and how really anybody can do it. I like this mat in particular because you only have to tap a little bit lightly. You don't have to stomp on the mat to make the, uh, the hit, the match. And I like the edges around the square. I can kind of feel where I am without looking down. It's nice playing in a group because you don't care so much about your score and your timing. You're just playing for fun and for exercise. Unlike the other dance games where you've only got two pads, you've got you know up to 32 people at one time, so you interact with each other more. I've noticed people are having a lot more fun than I've ever seen. People are laughing, smiling, and just chatting, socializing. You can have a huge group of people interacting at once, which is much different than any other game. There's definitely a trend going to the multiplayer concept that I'm seeing and people are enjoying the fact that you can now play more than you know two or four players at the same time and so it seems like it crosses over to the fitness industry uh, really well. Well you're definitely moving all the time so that's a plus and as you can see I'm pretty sweaty. It's all about the movement and I mean after 10 minutes, you're already drenched in sweat, and it just, it's a lot more fun for people that don't like to sit there and work out. It kind of tricks you into working out, and you really reap the benefits of it. It's definitely a cardio-based game, I would say. A lot of people don't realize it, but just by playing these dancing games, uh, they're building up their coordination. So you're actually building your balance, uh, able to focus a little bit better. I know that the iDance studies have shown that even without, you know, students doing extracurricular activities, just playing iDance, they were able to focus better in school. It's building a new audience that people have never experienced a dance game before, uh, because a lot of the people in the fitness industry had no idea that something like this existed, you know, when the, the concept came out in 1998. And here we are in 2010, 
uh, and it's, it seems like it's been reborn in a new type of way for a new market. Indianapolis, we're at uh, the big Aford convention. So far, things are looking really great. Our booth has been packed just about this entire time. Really good. I mean, get, get your cardio going. Really good for cardiovascular. Uh, it was pretty awesome. It was fun. It was different. <laughs> what number am I? I'm number seven. Oh, I'm number 74. It would be a great cardio workout. You got 53.9%. <laughs> no, that was awesome. I would do that again. <laughs> 